They're working primarily in hunter-gatherer tribes in Africa, and they're looking at uh, the, the genomic variety there. And they're about 10 t- times more complex, it seems, and they haven't been able to categorize the, all the species variations that these guys have. But it's clear by the sheer genomic variety that we're seeing that it's at least 10x uh, the variety that a Western gut would have in these hunter-gatherers. And what they've been able to show in those hunter-gatherers is their gut microbiome is directly influenced by everything that they literally touch. So a significant portion of their gut microbiome has some very strange species that we've never seen in human gut in the Western world that are dominant on the hides of zebras, which is one of the main foods they eat. And so these guys kill and butcher a zebra in in the bush, throw that hide on their shoulder and carry that bleeding hide of microbiome for for many days back to the village, they're just covered in zebra biome, which then becomes their own gut microbiome as well. And so they diversify their microbiome by literally everything they touch. Now you look at the typical American experience, you've never touched any of the animals you're eating. You have some weird, homogenized, highly sterilized, processed version of it. Even if it's a chicken breast at the counter, that thing has been pasteurized by some chemical processing and other things. And Injected with junk, like there's just nothing natural, no healthy microbiome being touched by your nutritional environment or skin, etc. And so, if you want to get away from probiotics, you immediately simply just get yourself and your patients into a natural microbiome as often as possible. So, I have my patients try to seek out a new ecosystem whenever they can. If that's just the weekends, so be it. Get up to a waterfall, get out to the jungle, get out to the 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 ocean. Get yourself in touch with a big piece of na- natural uh, environment. Breathe it. The microbiome we breathe will ultimately populate our gut through different mechanisms. Touch it. You know, consume it through fermented foods. All of these different things are really powerful ways to go far beyond the limited impact or may- maybe harmful impact of a probiotic. Welcome to the Collective Insights Podcast, where we explore topics and technologies revolutionizing human well-being. On today's episode, Dr. Zach Bush returns to the podcast and joins our medical director, Dr. Dan Stickler, to explore the astounding new research on gut health, including a new insight on something we've all been doing wrong for decades. Make sure to subscribe to Collective Insights wherever you listen to podcasts so you don't miss an episode.